I've been a good friend and colleague of Joe Conyers for a long time now. I first met Joe in 1999. I actually heard his audition for Curtis. I'll never forget it because he played this Rachmaninoff cello sonata very beautifully and expressively. And the other thing that I really remember is his laugh. He started laughing and then Hal started laughing and then I started laughing and none of us could stop laughing and it was very clear that he belonged at Curtis. Well, I have deep admiration for Joseph Conyers, for his discipline, his and his passion and his love of music making. Philadelphia the city and Philadelphia the Philadelphia Orchestra became better places on Tuesday, June 1st of 2010 at 4.30 p.m. thereabouts when Joe won his assistant principal bass position with the Philadelphia Orchestra. One of my percussion students, Luke uh, Giannini, was very close to him as a friend, and Luke said, watch out for this guy. He's gonna go places. <laughs> so uh, no big surprise that Joe is not only here in Philadelphia Orchestra and, um, and, and so full with his work in Project 440, but there's no limit to what Joe is gonna do. Three qualities that Joe have that I so admire and appreciate is his, uh, that he's a true citizen. Joe is unstoppable. That he has an enormous generosity. Indefatigable. And that he has such integrity. The other one, he's a doer. He's showing how to relate to all aspects of the community, from the boardroom to the classroom. And that's what we have to do as musicians. Joe's doing it. Joe the colleague, Joe the best friend, Joe the entrepreneur, the musician, the bassist, the teacher, the thinker, the changer. He is one of the movers and shakers of Philadelphia and I think of the world. Mm -hmm.